Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Shalom, shalom, good morning. This is a beautiful Wednesday. I hear birds singing that we have a reason to thank God this morning because of what he's doing. I began a series with us on Monday on the promise of the Holy Spirit. And I've been talking about the place of intimacy with God through the Spirit. And I want to continue from where I left yesterday. I said intimacy with God through the Spirit is the biblical motivation for holiness. If you think about anything, you cannot run away from intimacy with God because that is very, very key. The Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 17, 19 to 20, that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And I want to read that portion of the scripture with us this morning before I say one or two things before we pray together. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, I'm reading verses uh, 17, Going downwards, the Bible says, But the person who is joined to the Lord is one with him. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 17. Then the Bible says, Run from sexual sin. No one sins, no one, no other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. And then verses 19, 20 says, Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You don't belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. The temple, the temple, the body we have, we call it Heiron. The temple, he's Heiron, but the holy of holies is Naos. In other words, the dwelling place of God's glory is the temple, is the body, is the naos. Wherever we go, whatever our circumstances we bear, the presence and the glory of God. And this is something that is of essence to us as children of God. Intimacy with God is a promise of the new covenant. It is promised to the least. Anybody who desires anybody who seeks God will enjoy the blessings that comes with the intimacy with God. The, the, the Greek word for know here is gnas, gnasko. It means to know absolutely so that we can be sure, confident and bold to speak that my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. It also indicates that who or what is known is of great value and importance to the one learning. I challenge you this morning in the name of the Lord that it is important for you as a child of God just to know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know, after the cross, following was replaced by a binding. You know, the disciples followed Jesus, but after the cross, People now abide. To abide means that one person remains in union with another. We are called to abide in the Lord. We are called to be in union with the Lord, which is very, very important. To be one in mind, to be one in spirit, and to be one in heart and will. As the Father and the Son are one, so we are also called to be one. Listen to me somebody this morning. The Holy Spirit has joined our spirit with Christ. We are one with Him. We abide in Him who abides in the Father. Hallelujah. We have His mind, we have His heart, and we have His soul. And this morning I want to encourage you in the name of Jesus that let us have intimacy with the Father through the Son. We are joined to him as a branch is joined to the vine. We must never think of ourselves except being joined to Jesus. 
and we must not think of him except being joined to us as Bible says in Galatians chapter 2 verses 20. I finish by saying this, abiding is choosing to be available to him who is always with us. And when we abide in Christ, do you know the result, child of God, this morning? When you abide in Christ, the result is fruit-bearing. You will bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And that's the result of abiding. I want to pray with you. Maybe you're trusting God to bear fruit. The secret is in abiding. And when you abide, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we stand here to bless you and to glorify your name. You are calling us to abide, to abide. We are choosing this morning to be available for you, who is always available for us. And I pray in Jesus' name, the Lord will abide in you. Bless my sister, bless my brother, bless this family. Learn the secret of abiding in you. In Jesus' name I prayed. And the people say, Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.